Hello and welcome back to the Wizard Training on the Cup Code server. This is Mages, your host. We are working on the Journal Journey, and we have gotten quite a few of the items already selected. Oh, quite a few. Yeah, we've got a couple items already here. We've managed to get the Life Essence, the Lightning Essence, and the Arcane Essence. We did that all in the last episode. Wow, a lot of work. All right, we still have a lot more work to go. Let's dump this stuff off because I don't need it here. Um, cacti, you can go in here with the plants. That's a good place for you. All right. We've got some more essences to refine. Now, as I said in the last episode, in previous versions of Ars Magica, when you used the essence refiner, you would have to wait. I mean, you would have to, it, it, it would have a ma spinning magic circle here, and you would wait for a while for it to complete. And, you know, you pretty much walk away, go do something else, come back, check on it and see if it's done not so much anymore now you just need to make sure it has the power well, it comes up to, to a thousand here in a second boom it's pulling the power down now the power is coming back up so if we check in it it should be building up hold up all right we're up to a thousand let's check it Boom, the Earth Essence is done. So it has all the power it needs for the next cycle. So let's see, that has no power. So we're going to have to put another bucket in there for the next version. So let's go ahead and the next one, Feather over under Tarma with Arcane Ash in the center. Now that one's saying, I don't have enough power because it just drained all the power out there. We need to add some more power. We're going to have to go hunting for some more Ethereum again. Well, not hunting. We already know where two field, two pools are, and I have them marked off on my map. We're just going to have to go to those pools and fill them up and fill up on them. There we go. Now that'll provide some Ethereum, and that'll cook all this stuff up right there. Let's go put these buckets in here while we're waiting. All right. All right, now we should have that one done. Oh, wow, not done yet, huh? Still working? Okay. Still working. Should be just about done now. Bingo, there's the air essence. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's go mark these two off in the list and put them in the chest. And then we can look and see what else we have to go on next. Those two in there. All right, so now we've got the air essence and the earth essence. We are still needing the blaze powder for the fire essence. Uh, well, we can do the water essence now. That sounds good to me. Water essence, which was two buckets of water, two wake blooms, and one of those. That gives us two more buckets to gather some Ethereum in. All right, now we're going to put water over under weak bloom. And that is saying it doesn't have enough power, so let's check the power. you got plenty of power. Wait for the power to stabilize as you watch it. It will run, so let's go ahead and look in there. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Bingo! And you see, we do get the buckets back. So there's our water essence right there. Speaking of putting the buttons, getting the buckets back, let's put them up. Put our water essence in there. So let's see, for one, organize it. We need earth, air, fire, and water for this one. So that is earth. Air, we don't have fire, we have water, and of course that's going to take one of these. Move that to the top so we can keep track of it. All right, and then for the other one, let's see, we need lightning. We still need the stuff for nature. We have the arcane essence. We need ice for ice essence. We are further away from the essence core than anything else here. 
I don't have page five. Let's see, page three, yeah. Page two, we still need those two. And we need the interals, interpearls and interis. Well, like I said, we've still got a bit of work to do on this, and we're going to get to it. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else prepped up over here. No, I don't. Nope, that's all clean. Okay, so we are definitely on the journal journey, and we still have a few things left to gather. So let's start working on the leaves and vines and the lilies. That's That sounds like a good plan to me. Let's get some iron out of this chest here. I think it takes two. There we go. We're going to go upstairs and we're going to put some of our tools away because I don't really need the crystal wrench right now. Um, also, while I'm here, I'm going to show you something that we did manage to get. Is I've been fighting these skellies and some of them have been dropping some bows, some enchanted bows. And they've all had power one. So I've combined them and I've made a undamaged power two bow. And I'm going to hang on to that. Hopefully we'll get some more power one bows from some more skellies and i'll be able to combine them together to make a power three bow that's what i'm working towards on that on that and that is exactly why i put this anvil here you see it is slightly damaged so that i can merge these items together and you know try to make something a little bit better all right so we're not going to need the magic tech staff till we go working on that out there again we do need this and we're not going to need that so we need to come up here and see if we can't find some lilies which, believe it or not, are really easy to find. Look at that. They're right effing here, man. I don't have to go anywhere for this stuff. Got one. Let's go ahead and grab two or three. Alright, so we got two. We got three of them there. That's good enough for me. Alright, so now we need some leaves. Oops. And some vines. Now we could probably do all that in one shot. In fact, yeah, let's, you know what? Right here. We're right here. Let's go over there and get that. I don't know if you can hear my hamster back there running around on his wheel. Or her wheel, sorry. The hamster was, um... Well, it was my daughter's. My daughter had a, had a birthday party not too long ago. And... One of her her god one of her godmothers or one of her our best friends of the family gave her a hamster, and so my daughter, being eight years old, nine years old, she doesn't really seem to care about the fact that she got a hamster. She doesn't take care of it, and uh, half the time, honestly, I don't even think she realizes it's here in the house until I bring it downstairs to clean its cage. So effectively, the hamster became mine. I. I I feed, I feed her, I clean her cage. Um, at first, my wife was cleaning her cage, but I took that over, and I'm cleaning her cage now, and been talking to her and getting her to come out and hang out with me and stuff. And I've actually got her to the point where she'll come out and she'll walk on my hands and stand there, which is really awesome. So I just wanted to tell you that to kind of explain why there is a hamster in my house. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. I don't remember the order this goes in. The vine lily cactus. Okay, so we still need this cactus over here. I put one in there. So we need one cactus. We only need one leaf. I hope that's the right leaf. One vine and one lily. There's a sapling in there too. We don't need that right now. So hopefully that should make us the essence, the nature essence. Why am I sleeping? I don't want to sleep. Hold on. We want to fight Enderman. After I eat. Cook some fish up. Because we might need some fishes. It might get a little fishy around here. Alright. I'm not here for you. I'm here for Enderman. Something I have not actually seen much. Before. 
bless you. Go away. Haha, <laughs> now we'll sleep. Neener, neener, neener. Yeah, see, now you come close and I'm still sleeping. Yeah. Guess what? I got your number. 8675309. Yeah. Ha ha. I got your number. All right. Hiding in my house. Seriously? Underneath the awning of my house. Really? All right. Um, huh. You know, I really don't know the order of these. I, there, there is a special order to these. I think it goes leaf. I, I might be wrong on this. I don't know. Are right, we going to go check the book? That's what we're going to do. I'm going to go check the book just to make sure. Essences. Nature essence. Uh, let's see, am I missing it? Oh, I have the vines on the bottom. Okay. Hey, I was close. I was awful close on that recipe. Check that out. And bingo was his name. Oh. Well, at this point, this doesn't really have a graphical thing here. Like maybe this bar could go up to let you know, hey, it's working, almost done, or whatever. New. All right, nature essence. Bingo. One more item to cross off the list. Nature essence. Earth, air, fire, water. Oh, we still need. We need to go to in the end in the Nether. That's right. So we need some more food because we're gonna go to the Nether. Oh look, I got a carrot. We got a carrot. Go check my gridan. Yeah, I have a nice gridan going on. So let's go ahead and plant this carrot and harvest these carrots. There we go. We got an extra carrot to go. All right, let's go ahead and harvest my wheat. Make us some bread to take to the nether with us. Now, unfortunately, I have not been very far in the nether on this map, so I don't know where to find another fortress. So we are going to have to find another fortress in order to find some blazes. Because unfortunately, they don't just spawn anywhere. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be scary? Walk into the nether and you got blazes shooting at you. Randomly. And you're not even on another fortress. Boom, 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 boom. Farming we shall go. A farming we shall go. Hi ho, a Mario. A farming we shall go. Farming's done. Oh, the old. World of Warcraft, the old Warcraft game. Doops done. Not everybody will get the reference on that, but if you do, good for you. That is an older game that I, that I just referenced, um, much older, but it is still a cool game. It's I probably should spotlight it at some point unfortunately the only version i ever had was on disk and my laptop just does not have a disk drive built in it, it i don't know maybe the the alienware for some reason just ran out of space and didn't put a disk drive in this sucker i don't know why um odd to me because i mean it's a gaming system you would think that a gaming system would have a hard drive or disk drive built in because you a lot of people buy games in the store and play them at home, but no, they. I, I had to buy an external drive to go with this thing. And well, unfortunately, I don't really like using the external drive because it eats up one of my USB ports. And I have all three of my USB ports plugged in right now. I've got my mic. Uh, no, yeah, my microphone's plugged into one. 
Well, no, I'm, that's wrong. The microphone's plugged into the... Okay, I have a USB hub sitting over here. That's plugged into one, definitely. I have my external hard drive is plugged into my second USB port. And my headphones are plugged into my third USB port. And on my USB hub, I've got a couple things plugged into that. My keyboard, my mouse, and the microphone. I have a secondary microphone over here. Bump, bump, bump. Um... You'll hear me patting on the microphone just then if I use that line of audio. Now, I have, do use two lines of audio when I'm recording. That gives me an option to choose. Where you? Where you? That must be above me. Is there a hole above me? Effer? Ah! And that gives me an option to choose, to pick and choose, you know, which audio is the best. Now, I don't use both lines of audio at the same time all the time. Alright. Turn my headphone volume down a little bit. If I can. There we go. Now, I want to com I want to make a comment about a comment that I got on my page at one point. I don't remember who it was that said it, but you mentioned that I could use a, a projectile dig spell to get the rest of this glowstone. Now, let me show you why I couldn't. All right, well, that one was fine, but if I pop that one right there, do you see what happened? It fell right into the lava. Now, that is why I did not use it, is because I'm sitting right, it's sitting right over top of lava. The only way I can get that is to put a, build a platform right there. That way, it can fall down on the platform. That's my life getting some glowstone that I don't really need. Where did that go? Oh, oh yeah. I went out that looking for uh, that. That yeah. Durr. All right. Well, we're here look to go look and see if we can find some blazes. Heifer. Heifer. Oh shoot. Ah, I just realized something. You know what I don't have? Ha oh. ha. I don't have a, a, a flint and steel, so we're going to have to leave out of here. We need to bring a flint and steel back with us, just in case this gets blown up. Because that would kind of suck if I go through all this mess to find what I need, and then I get stuck in the nether because I don't have flint and steel. Wouldn't that royally suck? And there's no way back out from the nether if your portal gets blown out. Now, of course... You can try to entice another gas to shoot you while you're standing in the portal. Because then that'll create a fire in the portal, thus relighting the portal so you can go back through. But that's a dangerous game to play, and you're not always guaranteed to be able to get a gas to shoot you while you're standing at the portal. Yeah, I really have to open the portal up for that, and that's not something I really want to do. Let's just go and get our equipment and bring it with us just to be safe. Do you have one, right? Oh, no, I do not. Okay, well, we'll go make some. We'll go make one. That's no big deal. Are you up there? I do have some nether rack. Yeah, I got, I got plenty of nether rack over there. So, yeah, let's bring that with us. We're going to be using that. Alright, so I need a piece of iron. We need some flint. Now the flint would be upstairs. There's the flint. Anything else in here we need? No, I don't think so. Let right. me take the flint and the steel. In the opposite order, apparently. And we're going to bring that with us just in case. Because you saw, as you saw, a ghast was shooting at me. I don't want that ghast to blow out my portal. But now, at least if he does, we can relight the portal ourselves and we don't have to worry about it. Like I said, this is a, it's called wizard training. But it's more that it more implies that I'm the wizard in training. Not so much that I'm training you. But that I am the wizard that's being that's in training, and 
unfortunately, you know, I don't have a master mage here to teach me. I kind of learn from on my own as I go. And occasionally some of you viewers will give me comments and, you know, give me tips there. Or some of the people on my server give me tips, like my staff uh, are very helpful with that. Um, and we have a few other players that are very helpful. Oh, and while I'm at it, there is a player on my server by the name of Adrelion or Adrelion. Dude, contact me. I need to talk to you. I've been waiting for you to come onto the server so I can talk to you about something vitally important. And I just haven't been able to get, get a hold of you. So if you're watching this, contact me, mages96 at cupcodegamers.com. And we'll talk about something that I think you'll be very pleased with. Hey, why don't you come on down where I can shoot you, where I can hit you with my sword. No, you know you want to. You know you like the taste of steel. I got some steel for you. Come on over here. You're going to blow a hole in the wall for me? Great. Alright, tell you what. We're going to go... This way. And hope we don't unleash a pocket of lava here somewhere. Ooh, while we're at it, let me shift click that. right ahead if you see it on the map there looks like we should be coming out to the surface again oh maybe it's wrong okay let's go up shit 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 Whew. well okay um <laughs> Nice lava. All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep trying this little trick here. Looks like, I mean, looking at the radar, it almost looks like we should be coming into an opening right about here, but I'm not seeing Jack. We're up. All right, that's a little better. Whoa. Okay, well, that doesn't give us what we want. Let's get out of here. <laughs> That's one of the biggest problems with doing the, this whole uh, digging in thing and trying to come out somewhere else on, in the nether. You you always have to pay attention to the lava. It's freaking everywhere. Square block? No, that is not a square block. Let's go back this way for, for a time. Oh. Don't like being that close to it. Why don't you put this fire out over here, dude? Just standing there looking at it. Jeez. Are you insane? Alright, let's see. Let's go in here real quick. Uh, I, I built this as one of my first things I did. It kind of gives me a, a protection radius. Zoom out. Okay, so we see on the map, if you look to the south, I'm kind of looking at it. If you look to the south, there is what appears to be a fortress right over there. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go straight down to that if we can. So 
and that's going to be a large open space. So I say we go this way and try to go across that, that peninsula. You see that peninsula right down there to the south of us? Yeah, we're going to go that way and see if we can't cross the peninsula. So here, carry on through this mountain here. mountain is kind of protection provided we don't run into lava of course that could be a dangerous issue in its own right Using the map, the radar to guide us. By the way, um, that's exactly how I'm picking where we're going. My intent is to come out right on that little peninsula over there, if it's at all possible. Or at least come out clear, close to it. Really close to it. That's perfect. All right. And we have a little cover above us. That's awesome. So I don't think we'll be able to get to the blazes tonight, but we will actually, we should actually be able to get over there. What I'm going to do is I want to bring this down the water level. It makes it easier. And here in a second, you're about to see why. There we go. Where the hell are you at? Seriously? I can't even see you and you're shooting me? Oh, dude, that's right. I, I messed that spell up. I gotta re redo that spell. Darn it. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. This not gonna work. It's not a rough biscuit. Arr! Well, I was hoping that this was a projectile place, but unfortunately, I messed that up. So, we're gonna have to shift this bad boy all the way across there. I'm gonna move quickly. Shit, 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 shit. Oh no, that sucks. I'm stuck under the damn lava. Damn it. Oh, and there goes all the items. Darn it. Well, that was intelligent. All right. Home survival. Okay, well, we're out of spells again. Unfortunately, our spells were destroyed. Hi, load. Seriously, really? This your answer? This is what you're going to do? You're going to freaking drown me as I'm trying to load it at home? Oh, shuck it on. Oh, I think I know what it is. I've never reset my, my survival home. All right, well, unfortunately, we did lose my spells. I will have to reproduce those. No big deal. <laughs> I've kind of got it down pat anyways. Uh, but I do have to fix... I had to fix that one spell anyways. That, 
I messed that up and I reproduced it. So we'll have to make sure I get that one fixed. It, it was supposed to be a projectile place. I mean, let's be real. There's no purpose whatsoever. Ooh, why is that there? Um, there's no purpose whatsoever to have a, a, a touch play spell. I mean, really? That 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 was just me. I messed up on making the spell, so we'll have to recraft that. But I'll go ahead and I'll try to do that all that stuff off camera, so that when we go back the next time, I'll have my at least those three spells again, and you know, sword. And we'll get back to it. I mean, we ha we're on a path. We know where we're going, so we just have to get there. Um, but the the strategy there, what I was supposed to do if my spell had been built right, is use the the magic placer to place the nether rock bridge across the lava for me. So that way when I started to move across it, I could just run right across it and the gas wouldn't have any chance of hitting me. Uh, unfortunately, because I messed up the spell, that's not what happened. And I made a few other mistakes that were stupid, like falling in the lava a second time. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. I want to say thank definitely want to say thank you as always a like a comment and a share it lets me know that you care and we'll see you in the next episode of wizard training